This is a really exciting time because the Susanna and the Elders has recently been re-attributed to Artemisia gentileschi. We decided to undertake conservation treatment on it. That's involved all sorts of different techniques and processes and the curators and the conservators work very closely to piece together all the different parts of the puzzle. Artemisia Gentileschi was a very famous female artist working in the 17th century. She made a name for herself in a patriarchal society where it was actually really hard to be a female artist. She trained in the studio of her father, Orazio, and Orazio Gentileschi came in the 1620s to the British court to work for Charles I and Henrietta Maria. We think Artemisia Gentileschi was here in around 1638 to help her father work on an important commission Artemisia seems to have been particularly drawn to painting subjects from history or from mythological scenes or biblical stories that have strong female protagonists. In this painting, we can see Susanna bathing. She's being watched by two elders and we can sense that she's uncomfortable with them watching her. When the painting first arrived at the studio, it was almost impossible to see the original paint film. It was so obscured with overpaint and discoloured varnish and the reason for that is because possibly as early as 1710 only 70 years after it was painted some canvas extensions were added and in order to integrate these additions a lot of overpaint was put over the original and then that started the cycle over the next 300 years Infrared reflectography and X-radiography helped us to work out what was overpaint and safe to remove and what was part of the original composition. The waist is slightly further down and in. These are old um, damages which were covered in overpaint and part of what I've been doing has been taking off the overpaint and so we reveal not only where the damages were before they were hidden, but also some of the original paint that wasn't visible before. While we were doing research for an exhibition about the collection of Charles I, we were looking very closely at all the different inventories in the collection. We noticed this reference to Susanna and the Elders and Artemisia Gentileschi, and at that point, we linked it with the one in the collection. We have a watercolour that dates from around 1819, where we can see the painting. It's not actually hanging, but we can clearly tell that this is the same painting. And at that point, it's at Kensington Palace. It was only after removing many layers of overpaint that I was able to get an accurate sense of the painting. With paint analysis, we found out that the yellow pigment used in Susanna's skin was lead tin antimony yellow. This was another piece of evidence for Artemisia's hand, as it was an unusual pigment that she had been particularly associated with using. As part of this conservation work, those extra pieces on the left-hand side and at the bottom were removed, those non-original additions, and that means that the backing canvas was removed, and at that point we could tell that it had the Charles I brand, the CR brand, which definitively proves that it was in Charles I's collection. Artemisia was sort of rediscovered, I suppose, in the 1970s. But more recently, I think, there's also been renewed interest in her. She's really quite a feminist. She was working in a world that it was very difficult for a woman to succeed in. She seems to have been a very passionate, strong-willed person. She was very proud of her work. She fought to get good prices for her paintings. And I think that's something that we can all greatly admire. The impact is visceral. It's always moving to work on a painting that is so old, you know, 400 years old, and to, to be aware of the physical connection with its creator to know that this was created by a remarkable woman painting a female figure in a very disturbing situation. It's been incredible to be part of this process of returning this painting by Artemisia Gentileschi to its rightful place in the Royal Collection.